Here we go. Ready? Go. O. O. U. -U says ow. Uh huh. R. Tiger. Boy. I mean O. Uh huh. I. At the end. E. I. Nice. Er. No, s and if it's between, mm -hmm. oi, ness, o, u, u, s, show, o, uh -huh. o and, and ow. Good strategy. A, non, rabbit, j, k, k, less, sh, o, li, mm -hmm. consonant L, E, count back three. J, ch, ang, or. How about the second one? Saddle. Mm -hmm. Ah, a, oi, under, over, i, ch, er, k, s. Camel, a, and. Ah. Yep. In, in, Start here. Mm, mid, mid, what? Mid, which means the what? Like the midway. Right, midway point. Good. Er, uh, er. Silent e words. You drop the e when adding a vowel stop. Nice. E. I mean f. Both. Uh huh. On. Mess. Miss. Miss. Mm -hmm. A. Okay. Now. K or. S I mean, s yeah, why is it a s what so letters? An I there. Yeah, okay. G or j? J. j. I mean, g. Yeah, no e, i, or y. J. I mean, g. How come? Because there's an i there. Right, what are the three letters it needs? Y, u. No, what's her face? E. e I, o, y. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, j. I mean, g. Mm hmm. J. I mean, G. G, because there's no E, I, or Y. S G or J. J. J? Why is it a J? Because there's an R there. When does it say J? When there's when an, an E, I, or Y. Okay, so this isn't a J, it's a what? J. I mean, G. Yeah, okay. J. And... Sure. Nice. Okay, so let's go back to these guys. O, o A says O in the O. Says O in, in the middle. And this is two. And yeah, between two vowels. Good. Okay. So let's see about your writing here. And we're going to do your alphabet. Okay, so here's your special pen. Oh and you know the whole thing in cursive, so go for it. A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, That's right. Okay, we'll here. come back to that one. Okay. L, M, uh -huh. N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Good. Okay, fix your grip so that it's not overlapping. Okay, let's just try a K. So it's loop straight down, kick in and out. You try one. Whoops. Okay, so try that again so that it comes straight down. So loop straight down. No, oh, straight down. You're oh. going off to the side. Okay, so try that one again. Loop straight. There you go. Kick in and out. Okay, so let's try it 
this big, only one line big. How would that look? Yeah, so see, you're doing almost like a capital S, right? Straight down, kick in and out. Okay, so let's write K-I-T-E, kite. You go. Out loud. K-I-T-E. K -I -T -E. Nice. Okay, so two easy ones for capital since you know all the lower cases. Look at how easy A is. It's just like a printing A with a little tail. That's it. So A, so you're going to start up here. Hold on. You're going to start up here. So it's just going to go around. Yeah, so these guys don't start on the bottom lines anymore. So around, touch, down, and off. Around, touch, down, and off. And what letter is this? A. Mm -hmm. Okay, and set up. Okay, now let's see if we can make them one line big. No, no, okay, that's a little A. Let's see. There. This is a capital A if you're doing one line. So let's say that you have my brother's name, Alan. A-L-L-E-N. How would you write that? Okay, hand off your head. Uh, like... So, so, well, he starts up here because he's a capital. So A, L, out loud. L, L, E, N. Right, just be careful because these guys are getting, well, it's A-L-L-E-N. Okay, so let's try this again. Look at, if this is, if this is the top line, this is the bottom line, these are the middles, right? So E is only as tall as the middle, but L is as tall as the top. So it's A L L E N. That's probably going to be easier for you to see since it's not such a fat marker. Okay, you try. And out loud. Yep, hand off of here and onto here, anchoring your paper. A uh -huh. L L E N. N. Oh, it's an N. Yeah, it's Allen. All right, so check out the O. Look at how easy this is. It's around with a little olive on top. So it's big, and it doesn't start on the bottom line either. So around with a loop. You can trace mine if you'd like. Around with a loop. You got it, okay? And hand up your ink in your paper. Around and a loop. Good, okay, so what letter? O. Okay, now let's see if you can do them as big as... Here's the middle line, here's the top. Mm -hmm. What letter? Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Good. Okay, and try again. And what letter? Oh. Yeah, and try just don't try not to make him so big that he goes down to the middle. Okay. Like just a small little loop. And around and loop it up. You got it. <laughs> okay, so let's try we already tried Alan. Let's try Oliver. So if this is the middle line and this is the top, let me see how you'd write Oliver. Because you can't connect, right? So oh loop. Yep. And then stop. Yep. And out loud. L L I E N. Okay. It was Oliver, O-L-I-V-E-R. Oh. So um, let's see. Can you write them up here, this one up here? So let's try O-L. L starts on the bottom. I-V-E-R. Oh, nice. Good. Okay. So let's try Orin, O-R-I-N. Mm -hmm. Out loud. O. O. R. I. N. Nice. That looks great. So O and A is pretty simple, right? So look at this is what your this is what you have so far. You know all of the lower cases. A M N O S T and V. So actually, that's pretty good. You've got seven of them already. Okay. So let's try your spelling cards. Here we go. Let's do the two ways to spell z. So what are you going to say? Z mm -hmm. and s. Nice. How about the two ways to spell ow? O, W. Now who comes first, though? O, U. Yeah, he comes at the beginning. Yep, and you need to set up. Yep, O, U, and... O, W. Right. Yep, and this hand anchors the paper. You don't need to hold up your head. Your body can hold up your head. Okay, 
how do you spell R? Like car bar. A R. Nice. Okay. And how about the four ways to spell I? I. I complement A. Mm -hmm. A I. No. What says I in the middle? Like night y. light. Okay. Y is at the end. What says I in the middle? I G. Yeah. All right. So then we're crossing this one off. Okay. So I. G H yeah like a night type site okay how about the two ways to spell oi o y oh well wait a minute we need the one in the middle first this is at the end you're right that says oi just like this is at the end of the alphabet what says oi at the in the middle i yeah oh i is right good okay how about how do you spell the suffix full f U L. Okay, how about the suffix ness? N E S. Yeah, and it's a short word ending in S, so what do you need? N E S. S. Yeah. How about the suffix less? L E S S. Yep, and the last one is the suffix est. E S T. Yeah, like the longest, the biggest. Good. All right. So let's go back to your review words here. Here, you can put your cap on your marker. Okay. All right, so your review words, what do we have here? Midair. Which means it's in the... Air. Which part of the air? Middle. Yeah, exactly, good. Low. And why is this O-A? O-H-O. In the... Middle. Yes, good job. It says much, and it's D G E because it's after short long spelling right after short vowels, right? Outstanding. Mm hmm. Lamb, lamb, mm -hmm. boy, and right. Why is it O Y? O Y. That is how you spell boy because O Y comes at the end. Yes. Counter. Okay, what is the C? Center. Say? Yeah, why is this saying S? Because there's an H. You got it. Okay, and this is? Vein. That one we probably can get rid of. Pond. Pond. Town. Okay, I agree about the pond, and O O says. O O says. Ooh, ooh, yeah. So pontoon. Those are those airplanes that land on water. Those things are pontoon planes. Okay, this is? Party. Mm -hmm. Turnful. Wait, what is this first syllable? Tin. Tin. Foil. Right. Stain. And it's A-I because it's in the? the middle. Okay. Thirsty. Thirty. Thirty. Good. Right. And it's a y because it's at the end. Uh huh. Okay, let's do two more. Cartoon. Cart Cartoon. Uh huh. And what's this last one? Branch. Okay, b. Anch. There's no n though, but so b. Ah. Batch. What's batch. That? Batch. Like a batch. What is a, a batch? A batch of cupcakes. Okay, a batch of laundry. Rooster. Rooster is right. Good job. Okay. All right. So. Let's try. What's your favorite batch of cookies? Chocolate chip. Is it? Uh -huh. Yeah. They, they smell good while they're baking, right? And then the whole house smells delightful, right? Uh -huh. Okay. All right, here we go. Spelling words. Let's see here. Okay, so your spelling words. Can you grab them? All right, your first one is center. Huh. Center. Uh huh. And out loud. C. C E N T E R. Beautiful. And why'd you pick a C? You're right. Because there's an E. There. You got it. Good. The first time you got that right. Okay, this you can kill. Gentle. Okay, you got to pick your face it's up, though. probably wrong. Okay, so let's see. We've got Jen, G-E-N. Now, how do you do tull? T-I-L. 
N- remember, bull, gul, zul oh, is consonant what? T E L. No, G E N. What's the tull? T A. Uh uh-uh, uh. T L E. So right here, let me see you write gentle. Mm-hmm, out loud. No, slow down. Consonant L E. Count back three. So how do you spell it? G-E-N-T-L-E. So if this is tull, what would B-L-E say? Bull. Bull is right. Good. Okay. Jumble. <laughs> that would say jumble. Okay, broad. This The Broadway is a very broad road. Uh, and how do you spell it? B-R-O-A-D. O-A-D is correct. Good. So I'd like to sew... The material. Remember with a a needle and thread? No, S-E. Very good thinking. W. Okay, what was your clue? You're right, S-E-W. The E is the same thing as the thread. Yeah, like here's the needle and the thread, right? And it's like pointy, and then here's your loop, just like your loop in your E. Good. Okay, next one is... How about flour, like you bake with flour? F-L-O-W. So that would be flow er. We need flour one syllable. How do you spell ow in the middle? Oh, I. Okay, look at There's two kinds of flowers. There's F-L-O-W. Can you not stick your face in there? Because I'm trying to make it anonymous. So look at flour is this. Flow. Er, these are the kind that grow outside, right? Like the little daisies and whatever, tulips. There's a different kind of flower, though. If this is O-W at the end, how do you spell o ow in the middle? O-U. Yeah, so F-L-O-U what? E-R. Can't do three vowels together. That's not English. So that's why this word is tricky. It sounds like flow er. It's just F-L-O-U. R. So right here, let me see you write F-L-O-U-R out loud. F-L-O-U-R. Yeah, as you're writing it out loud, though. F-L-O-U-R. Okay, and can you, like, sit up and put your arm? Yeah, here we go. All right, next one is eagle. E. I love how you got the G-L-E. How'd you spell it? E-G-L-E. The only thing is it's E-A-G-L-E. So let's write that one again right here in this box. Out loud. E-A-G-L-E. Yeah, okay. Next, we got three more. Sugar. There is sugar in candy. Sugar. I'll open this. Like, sugar. Uh, so out loud, S. S U R G E R. Okay, so what does U R say? Uh. So that would say sugar. So instead of S U R, we just need S U. Now, G A R. So let me see you try that one right here. S U G A R out loud right here. S U G A R. You got it. Okay. Last two. Iron. I'd like to iron your clothes for you. I. Iron. Okay. So this one is I R O N. So try that one again right here. Out loud. I. I R O N. And the last one is contains. Okay, so what do we have? C O N. That's con. Oh, I don't see an E in there. I mean, A. Wait a minute. You, so you have contans. How are you going to spell A in the middle? Okay, but now it's like on top of the N, so I'm not exactly sure what it's you've written. So C O N, and then what? I. C O N I? T. T what? A I S T A I 
We need contain. N okay, S. and then an S. All right. Okay, what color are you today? Pink, yellow, orange? I'll be orange. Okay. Okay, go for it. You can go first. Thanks. Counter. Wait, counter? I mean, center. Okay. I was in computer centers today. Okay. Sugar. A lot of people eat way too much sugar. Gentle. You have to be gentle with me, puppy. Broad. If your shoulders are very broad, that means that they are wide. Flower. There are flowers in these cookies. That is true. Iron. I really enjoy using an iron on my clothes. Did you see us but not see it? I had no choice. You have two ways to win. I was stuck. Contains? Mm-hmm. What's in contains? Contains. These cookies contain flour, sugar, um, I don't know, probably a lot of stuff. Okay, thank you. Wheat, cocoa, canola oil, right. right? And Shannon wins. Good job. Okay. All right. So let's see if you can get this whole sentence. Here, I'll take your marker. We'll switch. I'll take this guy, you take this guy. Okay, here's your sentence. We had a midnight snack in Midtown. What's the whole sentence? Wait, before you write. We had a midnight snack in Midtown. We had a midnight snack. In Midtown. So we had a midnight snack in Midtown. Mid snack. We had a midnight snack. All right, let's see what you got. Can you turn this way? So we had a Midnight snack. Okay, uh, you. Okay, but the sentence was we had a midnight snack in oh. Midtown. So what would you write there instead? Okay, now you have mid tune. How would oh, you wait. spell town? Barbara, you don't work in town. Oh, write letters wrong order. Try that again. Town. T O. And how do you spell it? T-O-W-N. Right, in Midtown instead of Midtoon. Because that sounds like that sounds like Looney Tunes, right? Like a, like a cartoon or something like that. All right, good. Okay, so let's check out what we have today. All right, you have a ton of suffixes that you know. Oh, yeah, I'll take this from me too because you don't need it. So you have a ton of suffixes. So we've done full, less, here, right here. Mm -hmm. Er, est, ing, nest, li. Now today we're going to do ish. So you know a ton Did you of add suffixes. Well, this is for suffixes, and then you also have another page in here for um, prefixes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Because uh, right, but those are those. We're doing the end. We're doing an ending one today. Okay. So I'm going to give you a new card, and your new card is ish, and it just means relating to. So if I say you're being selfish. It means that you're being all about you, right? What what happens if I say your clothes are very blueish today? I'm blue. Yeah, like you have a lot of blue on today, right? Okay, so all right. So what would you say for this? Boyer. Yeah. So if, if somebody's acting boyish, what does that mean? They're acting like a boy. Like a boy, exactly. Okay. And this is old fish. Not old fish, but oh, old. old old ish yeah so if i say your computer is old ish uh -huh. it means it's what old. yeah it's not like the newest version babyish so if you're acting babyish you're acting baby like a baby exactly bookish what do you think that means like book. yes exactly Foolish. Yeah, but OO says foolish. Foolish. You're acting like a 
fool. Oh. Right? Okay. Growler. Mm hmm. Gray. Gray. Uh huh. Gray. -ish. These cards are gray ish, right? They're a light gray. Long, yes. Long ish. Long ish. Ish. Yeah, your hair is longish. Mm -hmm. Pretty long. Actually, it's getting really long. Pinkish. Mm hmm. Reddish. Selfish. Mm hmm. Brownish. Yeah. Childrenish. Close. Instead of children, just ch childish. Yeah, like you're acting childish. You're acting like a child, which is mm -hmm. kind of what you should be doing, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Simple. Well, let's take off the ending. So, what's that? You've got rabbit, tiger, or camel. Devil. Well, okay. If you try it as a tiger, what does it say? Dev. Well, as a tiger, it would say devil. And devil isn't a word, so try it as a camel. Devil. Devil. If, if you're acting devilish. What does that mean? You are greedy? No, you're acting like a devil. You're being really kind of awful. And you're probably get, going to be in trouble soon. Or being mean. Yeah, it could be that too. Yes, it could be that. Okay, if we take off our ish. Bricious. Well, try it as a tiger. Bricious. Try it as a tiger. So where would you split it for a tiger? Oh. Yeah, so. Bev. Uh, where's the V? I mean, like this. Yeah, oh, it's covered, right? So if it's a tiger, it can't, you can't say the, yeah, feverish. It, yeah, if I say, oh, you feel a little feverish, what does that mean? I got a fever. Yeah, like just a little one, right? You're not burning up, but you're also not normal the first temperature. Two days of school, I had a fever. Oh, that's right. You were feverish. And baths always help when you have a fever. Ah, you're right. You're right. Okay. What do we have? Parse. What's this first part? Per. Perp. Sis. Purple. 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 Purple ish. Your shirt is not purplish. It's bluish. Okay, how about this one? Smallish. Mm -hmm. Sun. Look at the base. Sun. Sun. Ah. What's the whole word? Sun. So what's this whole thing? Snob. Snob. Ish. Yeah, if you're acting snobbish, you're acting like a... What's this word? Snob. You're acting like a snob, which means what? Like a baby snob. Yeah, like, like, oh, I'm better than you. and Show off. Uh, right, almost like a show off. You're right. Like, you're just like, oh, I'm, I'm so much better than you are. Okay, how about this guy? Glossier. Okay, if you look at the base of this word, if we take off the ish, look at what you have left. You have S Q U A R. That's not a word, right? But it used to be when there was an E. Where did the E go? What, can you leave the computer? What? Where did the E go? Where did it go? How come it's not in here? What do we do? What do we know about words that end with silent e? It kicks an e. But why is it gone? Because what do you know? Because there's too much letters there. It can only symbol for one. Okay, but there is no e in this word. So where did it go? Can you stop laying on your chair and sit in your chair? It's an i. Okay, uh, drop the, the e, e when adding, adding a vowel. So see how i s h is a vowel suffix. How come that's a vowel suffix? Because it begins with an I. Which is a vowel, right? So that's why that word looks a little odd. How about this guy? Youngish. Yeah, you're acting youngish. Un unself Unselfish. Yeah, you're not being selfish. You're being actually really kind. Okay. Yellowish. All right, so three sentences. Here we go. Your tag. Your reddish cheeks tell me you are have been running. Yeah, like your cheeks are all red, right? <laughs> you feel fervor. Okay, what's the base of it? Fur. Oh, this is f 
for er, but what's this? Fa. Open syllable e. It doesn't say fa. What does it say? Fe fever. Fever. Feverish. Yeah, you feel feverish. Pa. 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 Okay, where are you going to split it? Because I see two consonants between two vowels. Per. Mm -hmm, per. Perhaps you should go to bed. Okay, so the whole thing? You feel feverish. Perhaps you should go to bed. Yeah, like you're probably getting sick. Maybe you better go rest. And here's the last one. The squash. The square. Square shape would not fit into the round hole. Why not? Because it's, it's square. And it has corners on it, right? Mm -hmm. And it can't fit into a rounded hole. Okay, so let's put this stuff out of the way and let's play our game of Go Fish. So, okay, so here we go. So I S H says ish. I S H says ish. I S H says ish. Go ahead and trace. I S H says ish. It says what? Ish. Ish. Okay. Copy. I S H is ish. I S H is ish. I S H is ish. Good. Okay. Now, how do you spell ish? I S H is ish. I S H is ish. Ish. S H ish. Right. Ish. Okay. Eyes closed. Go for it three times. I S H is ish. I Ish is right. Good. Okay, you race. Okay, so here we go. The first one is boyish. Uh huh. Out loud. B. B O Y I S H. Absolutely. Okay. The next one is how about selfish? S E L F I S H. And that is correct. Good. Next one is. White-ish. White-ish. Right, and what do you know about silent -y words when you're adding a vowel suffix? You can also use them Right, so make that E go away, and then you've got it. Nice. Okay, next one is book-ish. I can't hear you, though. Book-ish. Uh-huh, so B. O O K. Nice. Okay. Next one is gray-ish. Uh -huh. And how come you picked A-Y? You're right. A-Y says A at the end. Yep. Um, you can go up on the next side if you would like, if you, if you have, say you have enough room. Okay. How about baby-ish? B A B Y I S H. Mm hmm. And that's a Y. Good. Okay. How about um, pink ish? P I N K Y E H. Nice. Small ish. M S E A L L I S H. Absolutely. Two L's because it's a soft word. Yeah. Okay, how about bull-ish? B-L. Wait, bull. B-U-L. Uh huh, and how do you spell it? B-U-L-L-I-S-H. Right, and the last one is yellow-ish. Uh -huh. And what is this? Y Y O L L O H. Wait. Okay. Y E Y E L L O H. Absolutely. All right. Erase. Good. So here we go with Miss Mary is scary. Are you reading first, or am I? You. My name is A J, and I hate school. It was a Couple. Couple of weeks before Halloween, which is the coolest holiday of the year. We get to wear our costumes to school, 
on Halloween and have a big candy party. At the end of the day, we packed, we parade around the block with our, with all the parents watching. Nice reading. Marching in a parade is way better than watching a parade because you don't have to stand in one place for a million hundred hours. Ha holding, ha hanging. We'll just hang. Hang, hang up your costume. Hang up your coat in the closet room. In the clock room. This well, what does O A say? This is an old-fashioned word. O A says cloak. Yeah, in the cloak room. It means in the jacket room. Said my teacher, Mr. Granite. Granite, who is from another planet. <laughs> what a weird name for a, a room. Cloak room. Who wears a cloak? I don't even know what a cloak is. After we finished circling. Well, circled. Time and word of the day, Mr. Granite. Granite told us. To take our math books and turn to page 23. Can I go to the bathroom, I asked. Do you really need to go, Ages and Mr. Granite? Yes. I didn't really need to go to the bathroom. Sometimes I just go to the bathroom when I... But even though... Though I don't have to go. Even though I don't have to, period. Well, like when Mr. Granite is teaching math. I hate math. Math is the perfect time to go to the bathroom. Arlo doesn't need to go to the bathroom, said Andrea Young, this annoying girl with curly brown hair. She calls me by my real name because she knows I don't like it. I do too. Do not. Mm. We went to... We the went... Back to the floor. Wait, we went back. And for... Uh -huh, back and forth. Like it was... Wait, we went back and forth like... Now, for a while. But the teacher have a, has to let you go to the bathroom. Right, but the teachers... Have... To let you go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. It's the law. If they don't let you go to the bathroom, they will go to jail. They ha have to go to jail. Go ahead, AJ, Mr. Granite grumbled. The boys' bathroom is haunted. Mm. Yeah, this is a slang. You know. You know, whispered my friend Ryan. I heard there's a ghost in there. Yeah, watch out for that ghost, said my friend Michael. He eats kids' For lunch. That's ridiculous. ridiculous. Those, there's, there's no such thing as ghosts. And even, and every. No, you're right. And even. Even if, if there were ghosts, they wouldn't go in the bathroom. They wouldn't go to. To the bathroom. They don't have to. Yeah. Even if ghosts did have to go to the bathroom, they wouldn't haunt one. Ghosts haunt graveyards, basements, and old houses of people who died. Not bathrooms. Everybody knows that. I'm not afraid of ghosts. Still, I will go. I what? I will. I was going to be careful just to be safe. On the safe, safe side. I walked down the hall. Push open the door to the boy's bathroom. Well, just to the bathroom. Now, this we haven't come across. You see how there's a little star there? Mm -hmm. And then if you look down here, that means look down here and read. What are you looking down here for? The story's up there, dumbhead. Okay. Anybody in here, I asked? No one answered. I sat down in one of the stalls. There was nobody. There was nothing thing to do but it was better than learning math then that's that's right. when something really weird happened the toy the toilet in the stall next to me flushed who's this in there I asked. I asked nobody's in there i don't think with him oh my god he's gonna freak out alarmed nobody answered 
I peeked under the stall to see who was in there. Nobody. Are you a ghost? I asked. The ghost didn't answer. Maybe <laughs> it was invisible. invisible. I peeked under the. I picked up the. Up the ec extra no, roll of toilet paper. Of course, I had. Well, in ca case I had to hate. Had to hit the invisible ghost over my head. Over the head with, with it. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, let me throw this roll of toilet paper at you. <laughs> that's when something even weirder happened. The, the toilet, toilet on the, on the other, other side, side of, of me flushed. flushed. Oh, my gosh. What is that? Well, wait. Who, who is that? I so see how it's like, is? Who is that? I demanded. Nobody answered. I peeked under the skull. And nobody was there. It was a really... That was really weird. This yeah. is really weird. Mm -hmm. Maybe there were two invisible ghosts, and they had me surrounded. surrounded. <laughs> it it was, I was... I was scared. I wanted to run away to America. To Antarctica. Antarctica and go live with the penguins. But that's when the weirdest thing in the history of the world happened. The toilet I was sitting on suddenly flushed. Oh my gosh. He's got to be freaking out. <laughs> I thought you read this a little bit at school. I, I read the whole thing. Oh, you did? Okay. I got up and ran out of the stall. There. Then I, I rushed. Then I ran. Ran past the sinks. They turned on. Then I passed the hand. Well, I ran past the hand, hand dryer. It turned on. Help, I screamed as I ran out the door. There are ghosts in there. Okay, he has not learned, has he? Do you remember the last time he was in there and he got in trouble because of the crayons? So, and he didn't do it, but he was trying to avoid being mathless? I ran back to class and shouted, There are ghosts in the bathroom! Help! Calm down, AJ, Mr. Granite. Granite told me. What happened? I was in the stall, I explained, and the toilet on my left flushed all by itself. And then the toilet on my right flushed all by itself. And then the toilet I was sitting on flushed all by itself. And the sinks and the hand dryer turned on too, but nobody was there. It must be ghosts. The bathroom is haunted. Run for your lives! Everybody started freaking out, yelling, screaming, and crying. That was our... That's when our, our custodian, custodian, Miss Lazar, came in. Oh, thank God for her. <laughs> there are no ghosts in the bathroom, Miss Lazar said. I re... Sently. Installed... Uh-huh. Auto... Mm-hmm. Automatic... Ma magnets. Automatic sinks. Sinks and hand dryers and toilets. <laughs> that at the end of the bed. Oh, no. To... Save the water and electricity. Bloody. It was just. I was just te testing them out to see if it works. If they oh. work. Well, maybe there aren't any ghosts in the bathroom after all, but I'm not going in there again for the rest of my life. Yes, that was all of chapter one. Good job.